Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 11th March 2019. I am recording it in the morning hours before market open on Monday, 11th March. I am Shagar Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not take time to introduce myself. If you are interested to know more about me, the company, and its trading systems and products, you may visit the website superiorprofit.co. Before we begin, we go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profit's trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, in today's analysis, we look at oil and gold using technical charts they tend to impact related stocks. When swing trading stocks, we like to align them with the market's direction. We'll study that using NASDAQ and NYSE market breadth and technical analysis of the market ETFs. In addition to aligning trades with the market's direction, we like to align them with the industry strength. We'll study industry strength using scorecard and heat map. Along the way, we may look at some of the recent trade ideas shared in our traders forum. If I don't do that, you may access the traders forum from our site. It is open to the public. And we will look for potential trades for the coming week. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. We begin our commodities analysis using oil. We are looking at the oil ETF USO using weekly backdrop template and daily hop on or entry template. Together we call this at a glance template because it helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, oil went up beautifully after displaying the bullish headwind at the very bottom. It is maintaining cyan, that is bullish backdrop candle color for many weeks. This week, price tried to go down but hit the memory support and go up from there, ending the week with a bullish shape candle. In the daily chart, price is in an overall uptrend. However, at the right edge, it is inside a triangle pattern formed by resistance memory trend line at the top and support memory trend line at the bottom. These are indecisive areas and you may wait to see which direction oil is going before taking your next swing trade. Gold ETF GLD. In the weekly chart, several weeks ago, it displayed a yellow candle with long upper tail. At that time, I cautioned about gold. In Q technique, we are always cautious about a candle with upper or lower tail. From that bullish shape candle, gold dropped heavily, and this week, it stabilized somewhat. It went up a bit but closed well below the middle of the long bearish shape candle. The weekly candle color is magenta that is bearish. In the daily chart, after displaying the bearish headwind, price fell significantly. Isn't it amazing how the headwind signal often not always, but often precedes an impending price reversal. 
that happened again in court. After the parish headwind, price fell, came below the lower boundary line. Price was oversold as shown by the stretch signal in the band indicator. And on Friday, it went up, ended with a bullish shape and bullish color candle. It also displayed the bull release signal, showing that for the time being, the bears gave up and bulls regained control. Price also closed above the yellow direction line. This is not a time to take a short trade in gold. At the same time, because there is no valid Q trade setup, there is no easy long trade in gold as well. From commodities analysis, we move on to market breadth analysis. We are looking at NASDAQ composite index and NYSE composite index, both using weekly charts, along with three pairs of internals, advanced decline, sorry, that was not advanced decline, along with new high low, advanced decline in the middle and up down volume at the bottom. In the candle charts, both NASDAQ and NYSE recovered significantly for several weeks. In the previous market roundup, looking at the two indices being overbought, not only in the daily charts but also in the weekly charts, I cautioned about taking long trades in overbought stocks or overvalued stocks. That caution was timely. This week, price reversed. Both the indices ended with yellow neutral color. The shapes are bearish and both displayed the bear release signal, showing that the bulls gave up control and the bears took over. Also, in both the indices, price completed false upside breakout. Price tried to go above these previous peaks but failed and came back below that. About the internals, they are pretty bearish. All the internals declined and they closed below zero. Market went up for several weeks and then had a sharp reversal this week. This is probably not the easiest market to trade. We don't know whether it will resume its uptrend or whether it will continue to pull back. Let's see what conclusion we can arrive at from the market ETFs analysis. S&P 500 ETF, SPY. SPY also had a bear release signal in the weekly chart. It also gave a reversal candle in the weekly chart at pendulum high. In the daily chart, it was at or above upper boundary. From there, it fell down to value area. SPY continues to be in an uptrend. If it goes up, you may look for a buying opportunity. However, there will not be any easy trade setup to come by because if the daily price goes up, gives us a sand color candle, on the daily chart, it will probably meet all the requirements of the trend following go with flow trade setup. However, I don't see the weekly candle color changing to cyan immediately. Therefore, we will not have a trend following long trade setup that meets all the checklist conditions. We may see where SPY is going. Wait for a valid trade setup before taking our next trade. NASDAQ ETF QQQ, very similar picture. Bear release in weekly, reversal candle at pendulum high in weekly. Daily pullback from upper boundary to value area. 
there is no easy trade setup in QQQ. Dow Jones Industrial Average ETF DIA, very similar picture, there is no easy trade setup in DIA. Russell 2000 ETF IWM, several weeks ago I commented in the Twitter forum, Superior Profit Twitter channel, when IWM was going up strongly, that when the market reverses, IWM may be the one to fall the hardest. That came true this week. Russell 2000 ETF has a bear release signal this week. That is similar to the other ETFs, but it fell harder. And this is the only market ETF that changed color to magenta in the weekly chart. The weakness is also shown by the relative performance line tilting down. In the daily chart, price actually made a lower high on this candle and fell down from there, found support at the yellow direction line. Because it has found support, we don't know if it is going to go up this week or not. There is no easy trade setup in IWM. If you combine the analysis of the broad market and the market ETFs, you see that market has pulled back somewhat. It has found support, but there is no valid trade setup in any of the market ETFs. When that happens, even before you look into the individual stocks, you know that it is not going to be easy to find low risk buy or shorting opportunities in the market. And we'll find out exactly that if we further drill down into the sectors, industries and stocks. One month sector performance, we are looking at the 11 sectors across three review periods. The red bar represents performance of last five days, green bar performance of five days prior to that, and blue bar performance of two weeks prior to the green bars. Together, they give us about one month of performance. Any line coming to the right of the zero line shows the sector went up. Any line coming to the left of the zero line shows the sector went down. In the previous market roundup, though the market was slightly up at the ETF level or futures level, I had observed that eight of the 11 sectors were down. So though the market went up, the sectors were flashing a cautionary signal. And based on that, I advised not to take too many long trades, especially in overbought or overvalued stocks. That analysis was timely. This week, the market went down significantly. 10 sectors went down, showing a bearish picture at the sector level. Studying sector performance provided us an early warning signal of the impending market decline that was not so visible from the market level analysis. This week only utilities went up. However, if the overall market is bearish, it is easier to profit by taking short trades than long trades. At the same time, if you drill down into the utilities stocks, which is the best performing sector at present, you will not find easy buying opportunities. The stocks may be already overbought. This is another view of the sector performance over five days and one day periods. This week we already saw only one sector went up, 10 went down, and on Friday, the market was mixed. Five went up, six went down. However, if you look at the magnitudes, practically only utilities went up. All the other sectors went up by very small percentages. Utilities was the only sector that went up significantly. On the downside, at least three sectors fell by significant percentages 
they are consumer discretionary energy the wash performer and materials one week ago on friday 8th march on that day the last day of that week sectors were bullish so for the week the sectors were down at that time in the market roundup i reiterated that the sector is a broad level and day to day variances may be misleading i advise to focus more on the 5 day performance than on the 1 day performance that input was useful as this week the market fell sector scorecard and heat map using q edge here we see the 11 sectors analyzed over 12 monthly review periods and then more frequently over recent periods the strong sectors are displayed in cyan color the weak sectors are displayed in magenta color from the sector and heat map instantly you can see that the strongest sector for the week are utilities communication services and consumer staples defensive sectors and the worst performing sectors are healthcare industrials energy if you use the sector level analysis then you would like to buy stocks only in communication services and utilities and look for shorting opportunities in healthcare industrials maybe energy also energy had been down for a long time the best times to short it might have passed that is based on the strength or weakness of the sectors alternatively you can use the acceleration and deceleration that is calculated in the pace column cyan color represents acceleration magenta represents deceleration you could look into real estate sector and the sector is accelerating it was weaker earlier relative to others now it is becoming stronger relative to others looking at that acceleration you could start to look for turn around buying opportunities in this sector conversely information technology that was stronger earlier is now losing momentum it is the most decelerating sector you could start to look for shorting opportunities in information technology however sector level is very broad to make more accurate trading decisions you may drill down into the industry level and buy into strong industries and short into weak industries best performing industries of this week we are looking at the industries 5 days and 10 days course you will look for buying opportunities from these most robust industries and avoid shorting thereby you are aligning the industry level forces with your trades i went through several of these industries and i could not find any suitable long trade setup from this week's best performing stocks in the best 10 industries the bullish stocks are mostly in the utility sector and as i mentioned already they are overbought the other sectors are not giving an easy and low risk buy point at this moment it is better to avoid buying stocks when that happens industry scorecard and heat map using q edge it analyzes hundreds of industries across multiple review periods creates a scorecard and heat map strongest industries of this week are shown by cyan color under 5 days column as i mentioned already i couldn't find any suitable buying opportunity from these 10 best performing industries in q360 degrees technique we look for buying opportunities where we have the industry strength fundamental strength as well as technical strength we didn't find any suitable buying opportunity this week conversely 
using the same 360 degree technique we are going to look for shorting opportunities in weak industries these are the worst performing industries of this week healthcare distributors is one of them you will look for shorting opportunities there CAH and MCK are having negative and decreasing earnings growth in the latest quarter both displayed the unique Q bearish headwind possible reversal signal at their respective tops on 20th February CAH gave a go with flow trend following short signal in the daily chart on 1st March that hit profit target in three trading days both of them displayed bearish headwind signal therefore at minimum if you were holding a long position you would be cautious and you could probably take a very profitable short trade in CAH worst performing industries in QH are shown by magenta color score under five days column these are the worst performers in the current week healthcare distributors is one of them it has been weak for a while and it is continuing the weakness you will look for shorting opportunities in this industry once you drill down you find CAH and MCK in terms of valuation both have nice valuation their valuation scores are in cyan color However, if you look at the last quarter's earnings growth, you will find both of them, CAH and MCK, has negative earnings growth in the last quarter, which is also reducing from the previous quarter. Therefore, you found two stocks with decreasing earnings growth in weak industries. Fundamentally, they are weak in terms of earnings growth and industry is weak. To take a 360 degrees short trade, you would wait for a technical trade setup on Q charts. MCK using at a glance template. In the weekly chart, it was going up, then it came to the yellow direction line reversed at that point with a bear release signal the candle color changed to neutral and then it dropped for two successive weeks in the daily chart interestingly the Q bearish headwind signal came at the very top there was probably no bearish headwind trade setup at minimum you would protect profit in any existing long position that would be a wise decision because the stock fell sharply after displaying the bearish headwind signal. CAH This stock also came to the declining yellow direction line reversed at that point. Next candle displayed a bear release signal. The candle color changed to yellow and then it dropped heavily this week. In the daily chart, price displayed a bearish headwind at the very top. This was on the same day that MCK also displayed the bearish headwind. From there, it dropped, tried to go up a little bit and then dropped again, giving us a flow magenta color, bearish color candle. That was the signal for a trend following short trade setup in the daily chart. You could take the shot at the close of the magenta candle, putting stop just above recent high. The initial profit target would be at lower boundary that was hit in three trading days. As the stock is very weak in the technical charts, the stock fundamentals are also weak. Earnings growth is slowing down and the industry is weak. In such a case, there would not be any reason to exit full position 
you would book partial profit with discipline and continue to hold partial position with trailing stop trying to let profit run accelerating industries these were behind others earlier but now gaining momentum they often give low risk buying opportunities at the bottom just as the stocks start to recover after a price decline i searched for a while and did not find any easy low risk buying opportunities from the accelerating industries this week how do you find the accelerating industries you can find them easily from qh the most accelerating industries are shown by cyan color under base column as i mentioned i didn't find any easy buying opportunities in them decelerating industries just like you would look for buying opportunities in accelerating industries you would look for shorting opportunities in decelerating industries they were stronger earlier and now losing momentum these industries alert you when to book profit in existing long positions and to start looking for bearish setups at the very top home furnishing retail is one of the most decelerating industries this week you can find hvt in this industry hvt gave a great example of how you could book profit precisely at the very top by watching the long term memory resistance in the weekly chart in terms of valuation hvt is medium value it has decelerating earnings growth an aggressive trader could try to take a bearish trade at the memory resistance probably using short call vertical and profit from the reversal from the memory resistance at minimum looking at the memory resistance if you were holding a long position you could book profit or protect profit using trailing stop in qh you find the decelerating industries from base column they are shown by magenta color under base 5 days column home furnishing retail is one of them you can clearly see earlier the scores were in cyan color showing strength and now it is weakening it is not one of the 10 weakest industries but it is one of the 10 most decelerating industries as shown by the base column in the home furnishing retail industry we have hvt its valuation is medium shown by yellow color under valuation column the earnings growth in the latest quarter is positive but it is slowing down it is less than previous quarter this is a stock where you may look for shorting opportunity not buying opportunity it is medium valued if the earnings was going up you could look for buying opportunities but earnings is slowing down either you could stand aside or you could look for shorting opportunities by the way if you want to look for stocks with slowing earnings growth you could use the smart filters the thumbs down filter will show you all the stocks that are having slowing earnings growth in the last quarter if you want slowing earnings growth in the last year you can use this thumbs down button we call this smart filters hvt using at a glance template in the weekly price was going up strongly then this week it precisely came to the very long term weekly memory resistance trend line and fell down from there these memory resistances act as resistance quite well therefore knowing that the resistance was there if you had a long position you would book or protect profit in the daily chart price is still in an uptrend there is no valid q trade setup that's why i mentioned if you are an aggressive trader looking at the reversal in the weekly chart 
you could probably take a short call vertical at the very top in the daily chart and profit from there. Because the memory resistances work so well, one effective trading technique is to search for stocks that are at memory resistance or memory support in the weekly chart and see if they are reversing from there. You can anticipate the reversal, create a watch list of stocks and take the reversal trade well ahead of others with very low risk and significantly high profit relative to the risk. How do you find such setups? You can find them using the Q scans, sonar scans. We have them both for Q Elite on trade station as well as Q Global on Metastock. Here in Q Elite, you can see the two scans weekly memory trend line support and weekly memory trend line resistance. If you run them, you will get the list of stocks at respective memory lines and see if the price is reversing from there. I will not go through the recent trade ideas shared in the Traders Forum. You can access the forum from our website and look for the trade ideas in the live 360 degrees stock analysis. Those were the regular topics that I wanted to cover. Before I finish, let me summarize. The market went up for several weeks. One week ago, I expressed caution because the market was overbought, starting to slow down. And at the sector level, I noticed many more sectors fell down than went up. That was one week ago. That analysis was very accurate because this week market dropped significantly. Is the market bearish? No. However, it dropped enough so that we are cautious about taking long trades. And also when we apply our 360 degrees technique where we are looking for buying opportunities that have industry strength, fundamental strength and technical strength, we are not finding many such opportunities, hardly any if at all. The same is true on the short side. On the short side, you may find some opportunities probably However, on Friday, several of the market futures, I didn't have a look at the market futures, you can look them up. Several of the market futures came to a support level, that is direction line in Q systems and reversed up from there. Not enough to change the weekly performance to bullish performance, but it reversed from the direction support line that is giving us caution not to take many short trades either. That is why I titled this week webinar as a market that is not giving us easy trading opportunities. You may wait to see where the market goes. Once the direction is clearer, you can take trades in that direction. And if the direction is up, you are going to take trades in the long direction in stocks that are fundamentally strong in strong industries and are giving low risk buying opportunities on the technical charts and vice versa if the market is going down. That is all that I plan to share in today's session. I look forward to seeing you in our next session and also in the Market Meet, the live webinar that we conduct. The next webinar is on Thursday, 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You may register from our website, live class option under education menu. Thank you again for attending. Have a great week and trade profitably.